What if you could quickly build an e-learning experience that it doesn't have a course with it? What if you just gave people a reference tool that they used on the job, told them all the information they needed to know, then gave them realistic scenarios that they could try to help them use that tool in real world situations? Uh, this is an example of a tool that I built. I'm gonna show you the finished version first, and then I'll go into Storyline and show you kind of how I built it. This is a project I did for a large hospital. They have a lot of recruiters, and the recruiters would have a problem when they would hire these different people, and it gets real tricky as far as who needs which orientation and which training and where do they start. So what we did is we built a uh, little workflow here that said, you know, we've got PCNAs and CTs and paramedics and all these different people, and based on whether they're rehired or transferred or have experience or don't, they need different combinations of different orientations. So we came up with a bunch of different characters here and we have them each sort of say, which am I? And you can just go through and pick the ones that you think are right or wrong. Easy, right? So we did uh, 20 different characters here. I will go ahead and show you in Storyline. So here's another one of the ca characters. It's really quite easy. I have uh, correct and incorrect boxes listed there. If I had more time to work on this one, I could have characters looking angry or happy or can't wait to start. But uh, sometimes it's all about just getting the job done quickly and getting the tool out in the learner's hands so that they can use it. So uh, it really is pretty simple. We have a little intro slide, then we have a whole bunch of different characters here. You see that I was able to make these real quick. Uh, for those of you who don't know my very favorite trick, what I do to get all of the captions to match is I go here under fill and I say eyedropper and I pull it from somewhere in their shirt. So you see that as we go through this module, boop, as we go through this module that everybody's, so you see that all the captions match the character's shirt. So as we go through, we have a real simple fade where people come in and look at them, they pop in and then it fades in, new person fades in. So I built this one slide, got it the way I wanted it to work, got all the different choices here, set it up. This is just a multiple choice or technically a choose all that apply quiz. And uh, then we have this decision tree that won't show in my preview, but I'll show you how we did it. So if you go here into the player, you can actually add a resource. So I went here and I added this decision tree. So when you click it, I have it set to open as, I'll do one for you here. So do an example, and then I have it open as a lightbox slide. So which slide, I have a whole scene that's just called lightbox, and then it pops up here. So when you look here at the lightbox slide itself, I will preview it so you can see, but then I have it so they can actually click anywhere to zoom in. And uh, then I have a trigger on here that says close the light box. So people can come in and say, okay, tell me about PCNAs, whether they're students have done their clinicals or not, if they're rehires, who goes yes and who goes no, and you see the little different arrows that, that draw around here. Uh, yeah, so each of these layers then just has a closed light box slide on it. It's really pretty straightforward that I've got that and three different zoom areas where you can go in to see more. And then uh, what's great about this is not that I was able to use the light box feature. Uh, it's tempting as a storyline person to be like, oh, you know, I've seen this tutorial on this and it has this feature and I want to do it. What I'm trying to do is make an experience where it's like, hey, I've got this character. I'm not sure I've got to look at the flowchart. And then we've, you can use that light box slide to just pop up, help them in their moment of need, and then disappear when they are done. So as a blended learning specialist, I look at four different S's. Self-study exercises, like something you could do in storyline or in an e-learning module. Synchronous, stuff you're doing together. That's not a part of this one. A support tool, like a workflow or a cheat sheet, that is. This is literally all about the support tool, and then we have exercises to help people practice using it, and they get feedback if they're wrong so they can look a little closer at their tool. And then the final is social. This is not a part of this blend, but these two blends put together make a really interesting modern feeling course, and best of all, it's something that you can do quickly and give the learner something that they can use on the job. So today's another great day. I hope you can blend up something great.